Hi there, my virtual home. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of my virtual home. So, guys, today we're going to be talking about the KDP publishing journey. And we are going to be discussing the six, I'm not going to say most common mistakes, but I'm going to say six mistakes that are, uh, publishers, KD, Amazon KDP publishers are making in their early publishing journey, okay? So again, we're talking about six mistakes people make early in their Amazon KDP publishing journey. Guys, I have wrote my notes down in my handy dandy journal. Actually, this is the very first journal that I personally created here using the... Um, book vault software to create design and do my you know research my amazon research you know market research after i designed and put everything together then i uploaded it this uh design and uh, everything onto amazon kdp and then da, 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 it was available for sale guys i am not lucky but i'm gonna say um my first journal which is this journal right here very simple very very simple guys and and, and it's literally a low content book all it is is a lined journal guys guys if you would love to know how to use the software that i use to create journals like this and more i'm going to link a video uh, in the comments that has a full tutorial on how to create your journals using the book box software and it also shows you how to upload that work to Amazon using the Amazon KDP tool back to the topic of our book we're going to be talking about six mistakes that early publishers are making in their Amazon KDP journey okay so again we're gonna talk about six mistakes that are being made um, and there are more mistakes being made <laughs> okay and guess what it's okay to make mistakes guys because when you make mistakes you learn and when you learn you grow and then when you can grow from those mistakes this is where you're going to start seeing results so mistakes are not a bad thing not just in the amazon kdp journey but any journey mistakes are okay okay it's how you handle those mistakes that defines you that defines your uh, longevity or your experience overall okay so one number one uh mistake that i think and this is not in any order or prioritization or uh, order of importance but number one is people spend too much time researching and they delay the creation of books guys let us know in the comments if you agree or if, hey if you fall into any one of these mistakes it's okay if you're bold enough to let us know in the comments if you fall into one two three four five or six feel happy to do so guys i mean we have to uh, uh, confront the elephant in the room in order to move properly okay so i feel like um there is so much material whether it's on youtube or just the internet period about how to start a KDP business and what I'm doing in my KDP business and all these things about KDP businesses and stuff that you can get really lost in just watching video after video after video after video and next thing you know you have spent weeks days sometime even months and guys if you have spent years here it's time to confront that elephant in the room, okay? I think you could spend way too much time watching video after video and not actually creating books. All right, guys. So that's mistake number one, spending too much time researching and not creating. 
on to mistake number two mistake number two is that some people just don't create enough books <laughs> Y'all might have used the book book program or whatever program you're using and you created your first book and you got all excited and you might have created another one and another one and then you stop. You stop. Why you stop? I don't know. Is it because you wasn't getting enough, enough sales? I don't know why you stopped, but you did. And um, that is another mistake. So, guys, my advice is to keep creating, keep creating, keep creating, guys. Um, the more you create, the better you're going to get. Guys, for instance, this is my first book. It's not even perfect, but it was created and now it's selling and the ball is rolling, okay? Okay. Um, just recently, um, another book type sold. So for me, guys, because um, if you've been watching, you know this particular book, my first book, has been doing the most sales. We got some sales out of Canada. We got most of our sales in the U.S. And of my, right now, I think I have 16 books up. But of those 16 books, only this one has been selling, which I'm a pre I do appreciate. That I was just wondering when the day would come that another book type would sell. And we sold a prayer journal recently. I'll do a video on that uh, shortly. All right. Mistake number three. They get hung up on the design process. Guys, I get it. Most of us just want to make some money. <laughs> I'm going to tell the truth, okay? Most of us just want to make some money on this uh, Amazon thing and all. So, we realized that we actually got to put a design together and all of that. And uh, some people really get caught up in the design process. It's a thing. Now, for those that, you know, are open-minded in this um uh, and not to say that those are that are caught up or not open-minded, but those that are not caught up, you know, you might not get this part. But some people are caught up and they get stigmatized <laughs> at the idea or even like the early process of putting a design together. And it literally delays the whole project. Or if they get over it and go ahead and push it out, it delays future projects. So I think people get caught up on the design. And guys, it's okay to keep it simple. Like this particular design on this book, it, it was literally one picture in two words with a special character. You can do it, okay? Matter of fact, there you go. I am... I am actually going to create a series and uh, you rock so that you rock we could probably do you can do it because you can you really can guys um so that's number three number four people literally compare their progress with others how are they doing this they're watching these youtube videos from these creators that are like i made seven thousand dollars in 10 days and not to say that they did but that may not be your story and if it's not it's all right keep creating okay keep creating okay because i believe that quality is gonna follow quantity okay your early designs may not be your very best, okay? But they're out there. Somebody might like them, you know? The shoe will fit, <laughs> okay? But as you continue to create, you're going to get better. You're going to learn more. And, you know, things are just going to get on a little higher of uh, spectrum of the quality ladder, okay? And it's okay to climb, okay? So... 
everybody has started there where the quality of their material wasn't so great especially for people who are actually starting out with low content books low content to no content books is literally um, some people will say it's even saturated on Amazon but I don't believe so I just believe that there's markets that have not been created yet and there's uh, designs that that has not been uh, just niched down and we need you guys to come in do your research and jump into this thing and um, you know just get started all right so don't compare your progress to others because it can be a bit discouraging okay and that's okay to learn how every you know other people are doing in the market that's called market research but when you're comparing how I'm doing to how you're doing it may make you you might even feel great because guys I am so transparent about my few little sales <laughs> okay and if you're doing way better than me you might even get encouraged either way it go comparing yourself to others can lead to discouragement if you're doing it for the wrong reasons if you're not doing it for market research guys just get back to creating all right number five uh number five is the mistake people make is they do not create in different niches and create different book types for instance even if we're just talking about low content books there are different niches you know like this is like rocks literally <laughs> i was like I was like, you rock. Uh, let's put some rocks on the cover. Like, it's a niche of its own, right? So, guys, seriously, there is a space for you and your design. You just haven't made it there, okay? And you can do it. And um, I love Book Vault because it allows you to do research, guys. And we are going to eventually do a video about how powerful the Book Vault research uh uh tools are because you're able to really dig into the market and find out what's already out there how things are already doing um how much competition there is on certain situations using the book book uh software as well as just going over to amazon and doing your own research on the amazon platform but one of the mistakes that a lot of people make is just not creating in different niches okay creating different niches you might create a journal uh you might create a composition notebook you might create a prayer journal or a gratitude journal or jump into different niches and different book types even if you're focusing on low content books where you're not writing a single word you can still have different book types this is going to be able uh, to allow you to diversify your customer your customers okay so you're gonna have a diverse book of customers if you diverse into different book types because different things attract different people all right guys let me know if you have any questions on that in the comments okay and if you have um, if you're doing the opposite of these mistakes for instance if you're just creating a lot of books instead of not enough let us know in the comments we, we, we want to see that you exist out there okay for instance if you're creating in different niches and different book types go ahead and toot your horn in the comments we will really be happy to, to hear about your your uh, progress all right and for our final mistake that people are making I just believe that some of our early creators are spending too much money on ads i said it i said it okay i have even been seeing people do videos where they're making a quite a bit amount of money for instance i think i, I and the numbers are not right but i think i saw a particular video where the creator was making upwards between two and three thousand dollars excuse me on uh uh, in their ADP, uh, ADP, Amazon ADP business, they were making upwards to two, three thousand dollars, but they were also spending two, three thousand dollars on ads. 
and then I think they uh, calculated their expenses as far as software that they're using and found out that they were actually in the negative guys I think I my personal opinion I think ads are great let me just say that ads are great and if you're doing ads correctly even if you're taking a loss you're able to kind of take the the uh take the data that you have accumulated and uh tweak your ads and kind of make them um perform better for you so sometimes when people are doing ads with a strategy even if they are taking a loss they're using that data to um to create more winning ad campaigns so if that's what you're doing it may even make sense okay but if you're just running ads to be running ads and you're looking at your numbers and you're spending just amount on ads or you that you are making sales and how do you even know the strength of your book if you do not let it move organically that's just my opinion guys I do not expect everybody to agree with me if you agree with me about you know not spending too much I didn't say don't spend anything but if you agree with me about not spending too much early in your ad uh, early in your book creation process let us know if you disagree with me and you feel like you should just flood Amazon ads with your money and you know pop out sales and you know stuff like that let us know in the comments it's fine it's fine to disagree because guess what I don't have all the answers and you may know something that I don't know so just share with us in the comments how you guys feel about running ads on um, early books but hey those are our six mistakes that uh, uh, people are making early in their Amazon KDP publishing journey with that being said guys uh, if you like this video go ahead and like this video um, if you want to be a part of our family, then you can subscribe to our network. Matter of fact, let us know that you subscribe in the comments so that we can just love all over you, all right? Let us know in the comments, okay? And um, guys, if you want to be the very first to get content as soon as we drop it, there should be a bell notification button above click on that bell notification button because you are going to get a notification every time my virtual home drops a new video guys and we do uh, put our videos in playlists because i know we talk about a lot on the channel so with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video i love to see your comment below i love to see you join the network and i'll see you guys on the next episode